he knows a lot about things. And so I'd like to, to bring him on right now. Hey, hey, baby, you, you, you there? I'm here with you, Gunner. I don't know if uh, I know a lot about things. I know that I'm definitely made up of a lot of things. Well, uh, of, of course you are. I mean, yeah. duh. I mean, so, you know, the thing is, though, is that like, I just like to start asking you, you know, kind of right off the bat, I know that you're an astrologist. And I know that you're very into the stars. And that is incredible because I, I am too. My wife is definitely. But I mean, what, what kind of age are we in right now? Well, we're going into the age of Aquarius. And uh, I mean, your wife, you, we all, we're made up of the stars, right? It's very elemental. That's well, why I clear, like it, It's very That's clear that you are made up of the stars with that, that, the, um, the, the rhinestones on your head. But yes, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you don't, you don't go out and buy this. This stuff gets given. But uh, I figured, you know, with your show, bringing people together, which is such a beautiful thing. We need it now. Um, and uh, I guess this is a good chance to tell you, I really like that song. You know, one well, foot one, in one the foot. aftermath, one foot on the gas. Yeah, you know, but that it, it's actually not anything that had to do with astrology. That's all right, all right, all right. to do with, with but, other but, like it, guy, you know. girl things. I don't know if you know about that, though. Yeah, well heard about that stuff so okay let me give you a little run through with the you know people feeling a lot of things there's different reasons why you know we can get expansive with this you know as we mentioned we're going into the age of aquarius but uh one thing i'm sure you all know right now we have a new moon the new moon is going into taurus right so it's 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 you know difficult to know exactly what we're feeling but this may be part of it. What today is what Earth Day? Yeah, that was just the other day. It was the other day. Earth what day? it was Earth, Earth Day. day? Was yes. it feel like like guy is telling us to you know go to our room and and chill out with this pandemic? Yeah, right. Well, I don't know about that. You know, I mean, I, all I know is that when Mercury goes into retrograde is when I have an issue. Oh well, you know. Well, well let's just play out what's coming then. All right, so we got the the new moon is conjuncted with your anus, and you know what that means. Yeah, I do. I do. I I, I it's setting I, the tone. I love Uranus. Yeah, it, it's really setting the tone. Like right now, you know, something like that conjuncting with your anus, that means it's starting you want to start something new. You know, and be before everything goes crazy into retrograde, we have an opportunity right now to start something new. You know, I mean, thank goodness we got that margarita recipe. You know, I want to ask him about twangy salt later, but um, pretty soon everything will go. Pluto is going into retrograde. Venus, Saturn, Jupiter, all retrograde. Wow. Wow. I mean, this is amazing. I can't believe that you know this much uh, about these things. Anyway, so so w is, is there something I should be prepared for with all of the uh, retrograde actions that are going happening right now? Um, well, you know, prepare yourself to be pliable because a series, this is, it's an interesting term. When all these planets conjunct at the same time, it's very powerful, right? You know what they call it? No. I, did I just learned this. I'm like, I don't do I just like born knowing all this stuff. I call it a stellium. Stellium? Like stellar stellium. It's very stellar. Well, I tell you what, okay, so, go ahead. So hold on. This is what this is what it's preparing us for. There's a lot of letting go. You know, we have an opportunity here to develop some new skill sets you know we got to delve into unique talent and values so i i you know i, I mean understand. gunner i'm knowing you you're one that's really good at opening that treasure treasure chest and digging in yes to those values i agree with you 100 percent, my brother okay. all right listen baby lemonade this was awesome talking to you i I mean, I've always been curious about how the retrograde of Mercury affects me, and it's 
Awesome. But listen, we've got. So, hey, end quote, end quote, before we go. Yes, sir. It, it's just an opportunity to get to know our true selves. And as the great David Bowie once said, the sun machine is coming down and we're going to have a party. So like your, like, like what we have going here, everybody together. You know what, uh, baby lemonade, what I like most about anything is a good party. That's what I like. You'd be fighting nature if you didn't. <laughs> Thank you for coming on. We've got one more guest before we're going to get out of here tonight. And I've got to tell you about this guy because I mean, he reached out to me and said, Hey, listen, how can I get on your live stream? Um, his name is Richard Lon Chestworthy the third. And I, I, I can't tell if he's from England or where he is, but let's bring him on. Is everybody okay with that? I hope so. Um, Richard Lon Chestworthy the third. Are you there? Hi, Goner. Oh, why, well, hello, sir. How are you? It, oh, I'm fine. How are you? It's it's very good to see you. You you are. Uh, it, it looks like you were in a very fancy place. Oh, oh, this this is my library. Wow. I mean, you must be like in, incredibly well read. Well, 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 thank you. Yes, I yes I am. I so, am. I, I'm I do. So glad to be on here. I, I do understand that you have been confined, confined to your castle due to this whole COVID-19 pandemic. And that sucks. And I'm sorry about that, but let me hear about it. Oh, yes, yes. I've, I'm confined. Um, this is, this is a library is in the West Wing. Um, I'm, it's just lonely. I like to get out a lot more. Um, I've, I've, I've only have about 140,000 acres that I can go around on and it's pretty lonely here. Um, I, I, normally I get out and I see people all the time. Well, uh, what I've, what, what I've heard, Richard, is that you're kind of a playboy and that, you know, that you oh. might helicopter over to nightclubs and stuff like that, because that's, that, that's what I've heard. And that's, that, that's just like what I've heard. Well, well, I do enjoy my time out on town. Yes, yes. I like to go to the clubs and dance and, and meet the ladies. Can, I, I, I think that that's wonderful. I mean, so you, you go to the clubs, you have a good time with the ladies. I, that's, that, I wish that's, I was as aggressive as you were. That, well, why, why, why thank you. I, I don't really see it as being aggressive. You know, I just like to use my time getting out on town right now the only place i can fly is my yacht oh really so you have a yacht do you go out in your yacht now with all the COVID restrictions yes yes i'm able to do that uh, right. yes yeah, I, I fly from uh, my, my castle is on um 140 acres in worcestershire massachusetts awesome so but I also, I've also heard one more thing about you is that you are a literary expert. I mean, I see that library behind you. So, I mean, do you yes. consider yourself? Yes. If you don't mind, I have a, a piece I'd like to read from a book called A Study of History Through Time by Arnold Toynbee. And it pertains to the COVID-19 times that we're in right now. Perfect. Love it. Let me get it to where I can see it. It's kind of dark in here. <laughs> Breakdowns are inevitable and irretrievable. But if the process of disintegration is allowed to continue, I find that it seems to follow a common pattern in most instances, the masses become estranged from their leaders who then try to cling to their positions by using force as a substitute for their lost power of attraction. Wow, that is amazing. And so, so apropos, for uh, this COVID-19 thing that's going on. Anyway, so yeah. I'd like to thank you. 
um, for coming on and talking to me today. This is, it means so much to me. I mean, I know it's a big deal for you. You have got a, uh, this whole castle that you have to take care of. So thank you very much. Well, well you're welcome. If, if, if you have time, um, I, I'm, I'm getting pretty claustrophobic in my library and, and I, I was about to move to my back patio garden. Oh. Area. I would love I would love to see that. If you don't mind, just give me a call and I will uh, move out there. It's it's a little nice and open air out there. Excellent. Let's. I'd love to go there. Awesome. Thank, just give me a moment. Here. Well, I will say this, guys, that that I'm loving talking to um, Richard Launchesworthy the third. I mean, he is. Very royal, if you can't tell. He's got a big library. He knows all this stuff about, um, I don't know, pretty much everything. All right. So, are you are you out there yet? Hey, hey, Gunner. Yes, I'm out. I'm out on my back. Oh, look at you! Wow, look at that. That is such, so incredible. Oh, oh yeah. No, this is nothing. This is just my backyard. <laughs> I love to get out and stretch. I've got a two mile run down to the south. Um, portion of the the um, lot. That's wow! Where my friends and servants and some of my concubines stay. That is that. That's amazing. That's amazing. I I, I mean I, I don't know how you do it. I, I wish I could have a property that big. But anyway, well, when the COVID's over, I'd love to fly you out here. I appreciate it, Richard. You're the man. I don't care what they say about you, but I love you very much, and well, I will talk you. to you soon. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. So that's our show for tonight. I know it was a bit, little bit silly, a little bit um, Wayne's World, Pee Wee Herman Playhouse, however you want to call it. But, you know, for, for sure, please tune in. We're actually we're going to start doing this on Wednesdays now, not Thursdays. Wednesdays, not Thursdays. And we're going to... Um, at same time, 7 p.m. But we're, but I also wanted to say some. You know, my podcast, my my top five records. So we have artists and record um, artists and musicians come and talk to me about their, their top five records that have uh, influenced their lives. So tune into that if you can. And um, most importantly, please, please, let's make Austin what it is. Donate to Ham. The the, um, the 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 donate link is down in the uh, the um, the notes. So we'll see you next time. See you on Thursday. Miss you. Love you. Adios.